There's absolutely no doubt about it that by far one of the most anticipated Star Wars TV shows of this year is indeed the Ahsoka Tano series starring actress Rosario Dawson that's going to drag in some of the famous characters like Ezra Bridger, Grand Admiral Thrawn, Sabine Wren, Era Syndulla, and even some Legends characters coming into the equation. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. Now, yes, given that Kathleen Kennedy is still having a lot of trouble and problematic situations with Skeleton Crew and the Acolyte, there's also a lot of problems on the horizon with Disney and the CEO Bob Iger, the higher-ups, and that whole shake-up that's been going on for about a month or so now. Uh, we'll talk about that at another time, but what's really concerning is Kathleen Kennedy's view of the fans and what she thinks is okay and not okay for the fans to do or invest their time with when it comes to Star Wars. And we're going to be tapping into exactly every single angle of what Kathleen Kennedy had to say here and what it really translates to and what it really means for her upcoming shows. So she didn't really say the greatest things to the fans recently when promoting Skeleton Crew and The Acolyte when she was being questioned about both shows taking a brand new direction and shifting away from George Lucas's philosophy and his overall outlook on Star Wars as a whole. Now. Moving on to what Kathleen Kennedy had to say, of course, it is quite worrisome because, well, it just goes to show you that, yes, it does seem now that she does not like a particular partition of Star Wars fans, which, by the way, is a huge amount. We're going to be tapping into exactly what, you know, this all means. Now, with many new Star Wars projects coming together, both Favreau and Filoni are getting ready to make big announcements. However, in a recent interview that Kathleen Kennedy took part in, she went on to say not so great things about the fandom. Kennedy went on to state the following. The problems that I see within the fandom are fans that are too wrapped within themselves who have read too many comics and books that distorts their expectations for what the creators should make in their upcoming shows and films related to Star Wars. These types of fans don't really have a clue of how true filmmaking works and that we can't just base things on a book or a comic because then it comes off as too cartoony. cartoony. This is why I didn't want Palpatine to explain how he had survived in Episode 9 because it would have been too low for something like Star Wars. The fans who are too absorbed in these books and comics need to understand that we can't just use source material from those types of material for TV shows, at least in live action. Now let me just stop here for a second. This kind of brings me back to what Kennedy said a couple of years ago that for the sequel trilogy there was no source material to pull from. She openly said that. And this is kind of sort of like the same thing of what she's saying. Um, so basically she was trying to lie to the fans or new fans that didn't know much better about Star Wars Legends and making it like it does not exist. And that just goes to show you that she literally wants nothing drawn from the books or the comics, which by the way, guys, is such a big expansion of Star Wars. It's incredible. It's like a library's worth of material. And that's what I like about John and Dave. They are taking everything from books and comics. In fact, a majority of Mando season four is going to be based on the Thrawn trilogy with a mixture of the New Jedi Order books. So if you guys want to go ahead and read up on those, it'll give you a better idea of what Favreau and Filoni are aiming for. But I digress. What Kennedy is saying here is that fans that are quote-unquote wrapped are too distorted when it comes to understanding filmmaking. So the fact that fans are, like I say, quote-unquote, Based on, based on what Kathleen Kennedy calls it, wrapped in comics and books, have a distorted view of filmmaking. I don't believe so in the slightest. I think it's the books and the comics for Star Wars that really kind of strengthened the franchise, at least with the books and the comics and legends. To a degree, I understand that some legends went out of control. I am fully aware about that. But... There's no denying the fact that the majority is rich material, it's amazing stuff, 
And it really helped Favreau and Filoni do Mando Season 2 properly, by the way. There's a lot of Legends references in there if you guys know book to book, comic to comic. Anyways, on to the next thing. She goes on to elaborate the following. I believe, and so does my partner Leslie Hedlund, that fans need to expand their horizons by dropping those books and comics and to focus on strictly the new that storytellers want to tell in their shows and movies for this franchise. We need fans that are more open and willing to drop the books and comics and just focus on the creators instead, and that this will only cause less frustration from said fans about what we can create on film or for television. So basically what she is saying is that fans should drop books and comics so that they won't be disappointed about what they see on screen. That's the worst way of giving this to the fans and telling the fans that, you know, this is the way that herself and Leslie are handling Acolyte and Skeleton Crew. Not basing anything on books, not really basing anything on comics, and just strictly just focusing away from Star Wars as a whole. Now again, I understand everything does not necessarily have to be based on a book or a comic, but Kathleen Kennedy is openly making it clear that she never wants anything to be based on a book or a comic. So I just want to make that a little bit more clear. I myself understand that not everything needs to be based on a book or a comic, you know, uh, whether it's a TV show that they're making or a movie, I get that. But Kennedy is really putting it out there that she never wants anything from Star Wars Legends to basically be the direct source of telling a new Star Wars story is what she's basically trying to say. And that the fans that are too invested in the books and the comics are basically fans that are distorting their view of filmmaking. That's what she's saying here. I really don't have the words to put together right now about what Kathleen Kennedy is saying here. It's just, it's just utter nonsense. It really is. And this is why Bob Iger and the higher-ups over at Disney want her out. She keeps saying really bad things like this that create a worse image for Lucasfilm that does not really kind of support the fans and make the fans um, gain the trust of Lucasfilm. And so that's why they want her out. That's why they already are restricting her from making premature announcements of movies. They completely halted her from doing that. And given that she has little to no creative power, she can't do that anyway because she won't be leading any further films. But I digress. It only gets worse and worse for the Acolyte series because of this very reason, because of how she's shifting away from George Lucas's work, how she is shifting away from the fans' focus and their view of the franchise and what they love. John and Dave are all about just keeping things simple, make things fun, make a good story, and create some surprises. That's all the fans really want, and I think that at the end of the day, that's what really makes Star Wars Star Wars. It's that magical feeling and adventure, uh, you know, exploring new areas of the galaxy, uh, showing the characters conflicts, all the like. Anyways, fill me in below, guys, what you have to say about what Kathleen Kennedy said here. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>